Okay, one more part. So in this part, we are looking at uh, some nuances of DuckDB. In the last part, we looked at uh, vectorization, and it uses similar technologies on which Action Vector Database is built on. That is a commercial database system. In this part, we will look at Query Optimizer. So what is a Query Optimizer? When you write SQL queries, what you are trying to do is you are telling the database what you want. You are not telling it how to get it. You just tell it, I want this. Like your, you tell your parents, I just want a Mercedes Benz. How will your parent get it? You are not worried about that. You don't even care about that. So how to get that data? This is the job of optimizer, the query optimizer. This guy, query optimizer, is it tries to figure out what is the most efficient way to get the data and how does it do it? There are various execution plans. Like if someone tells you you have to earn a one million, your first one million, so you will not say straight away that okay, I'll I'll start buying stocks because where is the capital? So you will try to explore different options you will try to look at if uh, doing a nine to five job helps you with that or acquiring certain set of trading skills will help you with that uh, or you want to do a startup go for seed investing etc so different options similarly optimizers they look out for different execution plans and then they choose the one which is the fastest so if I break that into different tasks, so, so there would be different tasks like passing and rewriting, plan generation, cost estimation, and then plan selection. So these are at the high level steps. For example, if you look at parsing and rewriting, so the optimizer first passes the SQL, it tries to look, and then uh, it may decide, oh, the Theory is not well written, so it might rewrite it. Okay, uh, rewrite means so that it is more efficient. That's all. Then, for plan generation, the optimizer so it generates multiple plan. Like you will generate multiple plan to make your first one million dollars. And then you will wet which one works fine. So first you have to create that plan. So the, here also it will generate execution plans. Now, <clears throat> what are these plans differing on? Like what should we filter? Should we filter after joining? Should we filter before joining? Uh, what sort of algorithm should we use? Hash join, the nested loop join, etc. It tries to decide all of those and should we use indexes? Should we not use indexes? Uh, just like to invest, like uh, you want your first million dollars, should you invest your own money uh, to start a startup, or you want to get some money from your well wishers or go for seed funding? Okay, now which one is good? Which plan is good? Which is not good? So you will use cost as a parameter. You will decide, okay, which plan is more cost effective? Which plan is not cost effective? So the optimizer will do that. It will look at like cost means does not mean money here, just money. It will first see okay which one utilizes more CPU, more memory, more I/O, etc. Ultimately, that all translates to money, and then it chooses a plan. So wherever it sees okay this is the low cost for me, it takes that plan. But uh, why? DuckDB should be worried about that because see DuckDB, the primary focus is you want fast query execution. That is why this is important. You want to handle complex queries efficiently. Okay, so you may have queries with lots of joins, nested queries. See, life is not very simple as a simple join. You can have lot of complexity in your queries, and DuckDB should handle it. Come on, you are creating a database product. And you would say, I can only handle simple queries, that will not work. Third is adaptability. A good optimizer 
they can uh, adapt to different data distributions and patterns so it can adapt and it can look which one would be better for good performance in any situation okay so that's all about optimizer now let us look at sql parser what does a parser do so when you are writing a query your database needs to understand what are you asking it to do so this exactly is what parser will do for you it will convert the parser job is to take your sql text convert it to internal representation that the database can understand for query optimization and execution okay. so it's just like i explained think that you are writing english like sql into database internal language so necessarily parser does these three activities it will have a lexical analysis done first it will break whatever you have given in the sql text it will break it will identify keywords identify as operators it will break it first okay now that is done then it will do syntactic analysis that means it will check if the sequence of token it conforms to sql grammar see there is a syntax right you should write it that way only if you write it in any way it will not work so this is going to do that check whether this is incorrect commas are proper or not spelling mistakes are there or not it will check that that is called syntactic analysis once that is done it will move into passing the tree generation first tree generation will do so once the syntax is good it will create a parsing tree or parse tree it is like a structure so there will be different parts like from select where etc etc it will create that tree so that is called the parse tree generation but i'll tell you see this way that db it is making use of postgres sql parser that is the parser it is used see this uh, database it's a combination of different things they have mixed and matched some they have taken from open source some they have inherited from postgres and so on so they have mixed and matched so what is the output like if they are making use of postgres what it gets it gets a very robust and mature piece of software that is why the postgres we all know it works very well so that is why the, these guys have used it second is we don't have to worry about compliance the compliance postgres has taken care of so duckdb it maintains same compliance standards third is the development effort is reduced because you are uh, when you are creating duckdb product you are inheriting postgres sql parser so as a duckdb developer when they created this product it saved them a lot of time because they did not create a new sql parser they just inherited and then we all know postgres is a good product and they are in the market for a while so we all know that it is well tested if it is well tested we can inherit it it works fine see we were talking about this guy right parse tree generation here there is a concept that duckdb uses internally see the concept is called uh, peloton this is created by carnegie mellon university they created so what it does is it helps them to generate this tree so duckdb they are making use of postgres sql parser for initial parsing and once that is done they transform the parse tree into a format which is more suitable for uh, engine like processing engine they can understand that internal parse tree is what query optimizer works with so here this concept of peloton is used again the db has inherited it this is a open source carnic mellon university developed it they have inherited it so what it helps them is yeah, like we explained here you speak english and another language postgres parser is your first translator who takes that english they do the translation into structured form and then the db takes that structured form and translates it again into a format that that can understand it is understandable internally this second translation that happens that is 
इंस्पायर्ड बाय पेलोटॉन सेकंड ट्रांसलेशन फर्स्ट ट्रांसलेशन एनी मेस पोस्टग्रेस इक्वल पार्ट्स ऑफ डसन द सेकंड ट्रांसलेशन इज डन बाय पेलोटॉन इन हियर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन पेलोटॉन सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट यू आर गेटिंग रिलायबिलिटी बिकॉज़ पोस्टग्रेस इज रिलायबल पेलोटॉन इज रिलायबल इट इज रिलेटेड बाय कार्नेट यूनिवर्सिटी एंड यू गेट हाई परफॉर्मेंस एंड यू डोंट हैव इश्यूज विद कंपैटिबिलिटी with working with sql features it is compatible with standard sql any standard sql if you are writing that ansi sql standard sql it will work now there is one more concept called test framework so when they created this dubdb so dubdb is like in india we call it jugad they took something from here they took tires from there they took steering from mercedes benz they took tires from ferrari they took engine <laughs> from honda and etc and they uh, they have created a, a car a working car now the test frame now they have to test this so once they have some form of car so if you have watched the movie tarzan the old ajay devgan movie tarzan so that they created a car like that so they have to test if it works or not so software testing is very important there is a test framework which provides structured environment for writing and running test and normally uh, we write test run test organize test and we do assessments that means we are checking if the actual behavior of the code matches the expected behavior so we explained you the test framework but which test framework is used by dubdb they use cache to unit test framework cache to this is what is used remember this cache to is a unit test framework so dubdb uses this framework and this is based on c++ it is easy to use dubdb tells it it is easy to use i know c++ is very boring very uh, difficult i i found it very difficult but uh, this framework is simple and expressive syntax for writing tests they have written test cases using that and they uh, can also integrate with other projects it has also uh, rich test of features this cache too you can uh, write your test cases run your test cases you can uh, include assertions and you can create a good organization of the test cases like first these test cases should be executed then the second set should be executed and you can uh, create a good report out of it like what have you executed how much percentage is passed what are the key elements that should have passed and etc so that that is possible through catch to framework so that we were talking about unit test now the uh, one more test is important is integration test so unit test you are doing on small code units so dubdb is making use of sql logic test this comes from sql lite again they have taken something from someone else for integration test now what is uh, logic test it is some standard set of test cases to verify correctness of sql implementations so they have large number of sql queries and expected results uh, normally with logic test that's that's what happens they check for features they check for edge test cases like certain test cases which uh, 98 99% of time it will never occur but you still have to test it out of boundary test cases okay so how dubdb uses slt dubdb runs slt against its own sql engine and it make sure so the quality of dubdb is good so can you trust that dubdb why we are discussing all of these things can we trust dubdb yes you can trust it 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 has been tested comprehensively the software itself has been tested so you can use it you can make api calls and use it and it is compliant so it has sql compliance it has been regression tested that means whatever changes they make they again test all the test cases so that one new feature introduction should not uh, break some other features that is what they are testing and 
since we have done rigorous testing so you as a user can be more confident in the correctness and reliability of uh, duck db <coughs> this is what is important okay so with this we have looked at so many features of duck db so this was uh, important to understand uh, in depth understanding of duck db i convert all of these videos into a training course uh, in youtube there are features for converting to training course i will put these videos there because it gives you this last three four videos gives you good understanding of that so if you have not yet subscribed do so this channel is all about helping you with cloud certifications and helping you with cutting edge technologies okay it will keep you updated with the technologies we are not a fancy channel it's a free free channel so sometimes it may happen you may not like it but if you are just looking for knowledge information and you want to build a career in the latest technologies and cloud technologies hybrid cloud generative ai this is the channel okay so we help with uh, the content here if you see there are 1000 plus videos around entry level intermediate level and advanced level certifications aws uh, azure cloud google cloud so you can become a cloud kernel member to gain access to a lot of these contents cloud kernel you can become a member at a small premium and if you are looking for advanced certification contents so become a cloud ninja member ninja so this will help you so cloud ninja can gain access to all of cloud kernels content also but cloud kernel cannot gain access to cloud ninja cloud ninja membership is uh, higher from a cost perspective but then it, it helps you with advanced level certifications and lot of things which are uh, important from a cutting edge technology staying abreast with what is happening in the technology world and so on so see you in the next part